All right, so today's topic is having a dog in China. All right, so this is our dog here. His name is Guangworm. Uh, and actually Guangworm is bachelor or single man in China. Uh, it was actually his name when we got him. And uh, I was gonna change his name, but uh, he was used to having it and I can finally, <laughs> I can finally pronounce it. So uh, we've, we've kept his name. Um, as this video, as I talk about having a dog, I'm also gonna show you Every day we take him out for a walk, um, at least probably three times, and we have kind of a, a regular uh, route that we take him. So you can see him going for a walk from his perspective, as I tell you a little bit about having a dog in China, uh, specifically in Shanghai, because I live in Shanghai. Um, overall, it's not too bad. There's lots of pet stores. Uh, there's lots of places where you can get your dog washed. There's pet hospitals. So there's quite a few services or places to board your dog. Um, if you do go on holiday, it's not too much. It's uh, maybe about $7 a night um, to board a dog. And there's even services that you can have food delivered to your house, um, but you can get lots of dog treats. So, um, and overall, it's pretty good. There's, uh, the one thing though is there's not a lot of places where you can let your dog run around off the leash. Um, I found one place not too far from my house, which is good. That's uh, a park and there's uh, kind of some green space and some people take their dogs and let them run around. Um, so it just to kind of depend where you live in Shanghai because not, not everywhere has those places. Um, there are also a lot of people with dogs. So uh, we've met several people with dogs and Guang War has made some friends. We. Uh, we adopted the dog here. We got the dog here in Shanghai. There's a, a service that adopts out a dog. Actually, Guangwar, um, Guangwar was going to be soup. He was uh, being raised to be eaten. Hmm? Are you delicious, Guangwar? Are you a delicious dog? Uh, but he was rescued, and then um, uh, we adopted him. And uh, he's a very friendly. He's a very good dog. Uh, we're very happy about having him and it's pretty pretty cool to have them uh if you do live in shanghai uh, i can put i'll put in the link in the side for the website that uh, there's a place they have several dogs um, all kinds of different dogs but that do need homes so if you were looking to have a dog um, that is possible and people overall are pretty good like walking around uh, people are pretty friendly people are always coming up uh, you know, maybe petting him or kind of interested in him. Uh, but there are also people too that have uh, no experience with dogs. So sometimes you might see some people who are very scared of dogs. And they, even him, he's very small, but someone might be like really, really scared of him. Um, but yeah, overall, I've never had like any sort of bad, uh, I don't know, any, any bad experiences. Um, just walking around, people are friendly. Around around my apartment, everybody knows him. And even some people at the market know him and they'll say hi, oh, one more, one more. Uh, so it's good, it's, it's been a really good experience. Uh, it, it's fun, he's, a, a month ago he got sick. And so we had to take him to the vet. Uh, but it wasn't too bad, it was about $80 uh, in total to uh, take him about five times and get some shots. Uh, he had a basically like dog bronchitis. Uh, he got sick, but he's all right now. He got better. Um, so overall, it, it's pretty good. So my question for you today uh, is if, if you have you ever had a dog in another country or some kind of pet and uh, what was your experience like? Um, is it something you'd like to do or maybe, maybe it's too difficult? Uh, but just let me know what your experience is if you've had a pet in another country that you've lived. And one more, you want to say bye? Yeah, you can say bye-bye. All right. Uh, thanks again for watching.